like an instant like dewy look on your skin like from within so I'm just gonna put it before my foundation now for foundation I'm taking my all-day luminous weightless foundation by NARS this and I'm in the color Strombly. For like that flawless look, I'm gonna use my corrector from LA Girl. It looks like this. Now, if you want to conceal your dark circle, you use an orange corrector because it'll cancel out all the um, blue and the purple hues, and it will reduce your dark circles. So what you do is, you put it under your eyes, and then you blend it. seem like it looks weird right now but once you blend and then you put in your concealer trust me everything will blend together Concealer. 
I mean, you're correct there. I like to use my fingers because I like to use my fingers because <laughs> they'll melt the um, corrector into my skin. Like the warmth on my finger will help it like blend easier. Just read your tweet. Huh? Just read your tweet. What tweet? It's weird when you have a that Malay name and people find out how to pronounce it. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's true. I cannot find one Mak Saleh that can pronounce my name properly. I pernah gila lah nak bagi tahu orang Asian nama I Diana. So everyone just spells my name like yeah. Diana. Yeah. I give up. I give up. And now I'm going to put uh, my concealer. It's the um, Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in the color Custard. Now if you want to go for like a cream contour, um, oops. If you want to try um, cream contouring, all you got to do is find like a three shades lighter, eh, sorry, three shades darker than your skin tone. And then you just contour it like you would normally do, but instead you're gonna blend it like really properly so it will blend everything together and it will look so like not too heavy you know not too light it's just nice practice but be patient and keep on practicing and you'll eventually get it now all I'm gonna do is blend and I'm taking my brand new beauty blender I find it kind of hard to um, blend with a brush if I'm doing cream contouring so I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Now for the blush, I'm taking my matte ginger leaf brush. Brush blush. <laughs> there you go. It's like a muted pink blush. I really like it. I'm going for like a bold eye look, so we don't want nothing crazy on our cheeks. That is done. I'll highlight my face later, and now let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I will list all the shades down below, but for now, because I can't remember the name. But I'm taking this um, orangey color. It's Lucius. Lu 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 <laughs> orangey color for my crease. <laughs> Unjali. Is it weird that my lower ab hurts a lot? Really? Yeah. What should I do today? Next. I don't want to go target. Next, I'm gonna take this. Um, I think I'm gonna take this color. Can you guys see? 
I'm gonna take this color and put it all over my lips. Next, I'm taking this color to put it on my outer V. Do you have to pay to go to Griffith Observatory? No, you don't. was dead tired. I woke up like, no, I slept like that. I'm so taking the orange color again to put on my lower lash line. Bondi tattoo liner. Bondi. Cat Bondi. <laughs> I bought it yesterday, so it's waterproof. And can you leave that here? I think I'm gonna like it. Because I love everything waterproof. I'm just gonna do a quick cat eye. Today I'm taking my velour lashes. Does it look like we're kidding? I don't see the name here. I'll take this one. It's really pretty. Here's my outfit for today. I 
got the hat from forever my top is from forever I got my backpack a bangle that my mom gave me I'm ready to go see you there Woo.